walk-in and this time we have a visitor for homeschool who's not with us at the current moment but daddy is home today so he is at home writing in spelling words Okay, my camera definitely died while we were out on our walk and it was such a good one. So, we were talking about alliteration and I think mommy won the contest of the longest oh, alliterary God. phrase. And camera's mad because I you said you weren't playing. To okay, it. so Kendall, you try to say it with me. Ready? Okay, wait, hold on. Where are you? Come over with me. Okay, so can you say it with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Savannah, Savannah saves, saves the, the city, city sitting sweetly, sweetly sailing on the sea. sea. Say it again. Savannah, Savannah saves the city, city sitting sweetly, sweetly sailing on the sea. sea. No, okay, mommy's gonna do it first. Savannah <laughs> saves the city. <laughs> okay, so Savannah. Okay, wait, Savannah wait, Savannah. Savannah the city. Okay. Savannah wait, saves the city. <laughs> wait. Okay, so. Savannah saves Savannah the city, sitting sweetly city. sailing on the sea. Go ahead, Kendall. Savannah saves the city, sitting sweetly sailing on the sea. Good job! <laughs> Seeing something. Seeing something, okay. Savannah's, wait. Savannah saves Savannah the city, sweet, sitting sweetly sweet, sailing sweet, on the sea, sea seeing sea. something. <laughs> Savannah saves, saves the city, city sitting sweetly, sweetly sailing on the sea, sea seeing something super. Spider. <laughs> superior. Superior. What? Okay, so we're going to get back to writing now for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to move on to what? What are we moving on to? Our devotional. Our devotional. Let me check on Brian and see how he's doing with the spelling words. Okay, so I have all these spaces around the house, places for him to sit and do work, and he chooses to sit here. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Because I, I create spaces in the house for you, and you don't ever sit in them. I do. That's not true. All right. Okay. Okay, we just got finished with um, read aloud time and you guys. So we started The Borrowers and we were kind of having a difficult time. Not that I'm going to abandon it completely, but I think I might abandon it for now. Just because there's so much reference to things that we or they don't know about. Um, just like trinkets and, and things that are a little bit more difficult to follow and I don't want to completely give it up, but I think that we are ready for something slightly more fun and a little easier to read. So I'm going to set this down for a moment. We decided instead on the wild robot. So, so far we got through two chapters. The chapters are super quick, which is nice. Um, and so far they're really engaged. So we're just going to go with that. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk all about like my little <laughs> my little um, book journey once I get around to sitting down and talking about our book year. But last night I was really frustrated because I was trying to go through and find books and such and I haven't really found a review site or anything that I'm looking for. Um, I don't want completely wholesome books necessarily, but I want to know what's inside of the book. And I haven't really found anything that um, that shows me what I'm looking for. Um, one of the books, oh, so what I've been doing now is I gather books and I try to like skim them. I have been skimming them to see if I can find out about the characters and things like that. So, so far, I I'm not really against certain topics or certain situations because I think it presents a nice opportunity to be able to talk to the kids about things and introduce things to them first in the home. Um, to tell them what we believe and what we think about them and all that other stuff. I feel like I'm being really vague, but that's because I don't want to really go into that right now. Um, but uh, there were, I think, three books I am skimming right now. Like, 
yeah three or four books I'm skimming right now and one of them is definitely in my pile to go back to the store because it has subject matter that I'm not quite ready to talk about yet so yeah I got a little frustrated with that but I've moved on and I think we found a good pick the wild robot is supposed to be really good so so far um, so good I placed a huge book outlet order which I'm really excited about receiving so we're just gonna go from there and like I said I'm not gonna get too far into that because this video will be super long and um, I did want to have a separate video about our book year and some of the things that we're putting into place and things that I'm doing just in case it's helpful or um, I'd love to get others insight and things on the books they love and sites they found that help them find books they love um, I just have a separate set of criteria and I'm hoping to be able to share more about that which I think I've repeated myself for like the fifth time anyway um, I gave the kids a signal we have a signal now so that when I need a few quiet moments to film a quick update with you guys um, they can keep it quiet until I'm done filming so they're doing really great right now so I think my time is up so that they can get back to being um, loud and happy and <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a moment So now, I have on my piano in the background playlist, and she is completing her folder work, her binder work. I think I missed one. So that is our math block. So she is working on her workbook work. Um, it Math is divided into two parts. Well, math and language arts are divided into two parts. Um, we have our, our workbook work, and then we have our device work. <laughs> and they're able to pretty much choose which ones they want to do in whatever order. Um, for the most part. So after they finish a level in their IXL, they take a screenshot of the certificate. Match your five skills in the money category. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that one. You have to answer at least 2,000 questions. I already you have answered 138 one. questions left. Yeah. And I already answered 1,000 questions and 500 questions. <laughs> pretty much had lunch and I took a little miniature nap because I needed it it's really really gloomy out we are getting like the leftovers from Hurricane Florence now and it's really rainy and gloomy out and I'm trying to lift up my spirits but I don't want to have any coffee right now so I just took a little power nap while they um, watched something on TV and had lunch and uh, we finished up math um, we haven't started our unit work just yet. We're going to be starting Water in Our World. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we are. Um, probably in the next few days. I don't know, at the latest, at the beginning of next week. So there's no unit work, but, um, I probably will, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to finish off the day just yet because I'm not feeling too great and I poured everything I had into the beginning of the day. And um, right now they are cleaning up from lunch and they are gonna go ahead and get started with their quiet reading time. Um, what else did I wanna say, you guys? I have some work to do. I'm pretty bummed that it's so 
gloomy out but i probably need to just kind of gather up my stuff i need to finish up my planning which is not really planning it's kind of like record keeping um because i am such a huge fan of writing down what we actually did do and then sticking to specific um time frames i have on my robe so that i can feel a little bit cozy because it is it's really gloomy i know it looks really bright on the camera but i'm definitely right by the window Let's see so I'm right by the window and it looks bright for you, but it's super dark for me. Anyway, so I'm thinking that I will probably just go ahead and gather my stuff together so that I can write down what we did today um, and plan out any thoughts or direction for tomorrow or the rest of the week or whatever. Um, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening enjoying Brian being home. He helped out for devotions. <coughs> <laughs> Um, he helped out for devotions and prayer. He helped me write down their spelling list. He made us lunch today, so that was really, really nice. Um, so it was nice having him here, but um, other than those things, he kind of had his own set of things to accomplish and to do. Um, I probably need to go ahead and um, download all this footage, footage from yesterday, and load that because i'm a little bit behind on posting and i'm really trying to be a little bit more consistent with that and yeah you guys yeah um hopefully like the plan for how these videos these diary videos go will be more a little bit more predictable i don't know i'm giving it a try um let me know if you like this style um yeah i'm enjoying it so far uh, it's just hard for me to make it through the second half of the day because by then i'm tired and soon you know i won't have any a bra on or <laughs> totally change my pants you know and it's just harder to film then but um i need to go ahead and edit and i need to um go out in the studio space and get some falco work done i'll package up some orders finally get um some brand rep emails off and things like that just stuff that i've been majorly behind on and just trying not to beat myself up about but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh like comment all that stuff look at this see they never leave you. There she is. What are you doing? I'm coming. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in our next Diary of a Homeschool Mom.